Good morning. Well, it has been a rather interesting last 36 hours, you might say. What with my old computer crashing and so on, and me sort of having to reevaluate what I am enjoying here and what I am not enjoying here, which we will be talking about shortly. You may notice that the spray booth is not in that far corner of the table like it once was. It's now under the table. We'll be talking about that. Uh, what I did with my old computer was I, I had a... I ha actually, I have several removable hard drives like this. I think this is... I think I've got about... had about 10 of them. At the time, I thought what I wanted to do is I wanted to keep all my old video files and I remember one time my son was over and and he says to me, why? <laughs> well, I said, I might, I might want one someday. And I suddenly realized that, you know, I was spending a lot of money on these hard drives to save files that I would never, never need and so on. Anyway, so I took one of, I took this one. This is one of the more recent ones. This is a five terabyte hard drive. So I backed up all the pictures from the old computer after I got it going. All the, uh, all the, uh, uh, the, the files like the, the Word docs and, and, uh, the document files, in other words, and CorelDRAW files and anything like that, that can't be re reproduced that I might want someday, but probably won't. Uh, yeah, they're, they're now in here. Even, even the desktop and all the desktop icons <laughs> and some of those icons, some of the stuff on the desktop, it also had files in it. So the, the whole shebang is all backed up. So if the computer does, you know, crap out on me completely, I'll be able to at least get the stuff that I, I can't, uh, you know, like pictures and things like that. Now the programs that I lost when, when I redid, did Windows, it did delete most of the programs, but they are programs that I can put back on because, <clears throat> uh, anyway, I don't want to get into a bunch of details. So we're not back to the way we were a couple of years ago when everything was running fine, uh, but we're, we're sort of, we're sort of back and I didn't lose the personal stuff that I can't replace. It's like if you had a fire in your house and you lost pictures and stuff like that that couldn't be replaced. Well, if, well, if your computer crashes and you haven't got those pictures backed up and you and you don't have the hard copies anymore, uh, or for whatever reason, uh, you know you've lost it. But you know what? I've got it in here, and I, I was I was thinking about it. I was thinking about well, what if I lost all those pictures? And I, well, you're not looking at them anyway. But but they're up here. And if you, and let's say I was to lose my memory and I would look at the picture, I may as well be looking at a picture that somebody else took somewhere else of somebody else. It would, it wouldn't mean anything to me unless somebody said to me, Hey Ron, do you remember to see this video? You, you made that video. I did. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Anyway, uh, sometimes we, we put importance on stuff that isn't important like the paint booth. Now that's important to a lot of people and four years ago when I was setting up this table or three and a half years ago, it was important to me then. It's not important now. And we're going to have to be talking about that. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of, a lot of viewers that are going to be kind of disappointed in the decision that I have, that I have, have made in the, in the last few hours about painting. Uh, Anyway, let's let's uh, let's get on here. Uh, let's do something model related, and hopefully, it's not going to involve the airbrush. I forgot to dub in the sunrise like I usually do. Well, the clouds had other ideas, and there wasn't really any sunrise. Anyway, weather person says we're supposed to be getting nicer weather very shortly, so we've got something bright to look forward to. Okay, let's get started here. Let's do something model related. And um, we are basically done with steps 25 and 26. 
except for we haven't put the ladders on the sides of these three things here. And the reason we haven't put the ladders on is because these are not painted. And if you remember I was talking about maybe doing something, you know, darkening the ladders possibly in the br black brass or something. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might do, I might do that. I might not. Um, I, I think it might kind of, they might set them out if they were sort of like black. Uh, because it's too hard to paint the rungs and <clears throat> and rails and everything on these on these ladders after with a brush after they are glued on the sides they're just too small and uh and I'm just too clumsy now uh let, let's go ahead and do that now now this piece here if you remember i was I was mentioning how I had made a mistake of painting the uh, uh this this part here with the uh 56 and I was going to cover it over with a 66. Well, we still can. Now, about the painting. I am going to try and paint this this module here with a brush. And right away I hear, <gasps> okay, well, I'm sorry. Um, I, I've got to do what I'm, what I enjoy doing, even though you know, like, yeah, the airbrush does a much better job, much better job. I'll be the first to admit that the airbrush does a, a better job. But, you know, if I'm just not enjoying it, if, if I'm putting aspects of the job off because I know that I have to airbrush, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, this, this whole model table, it's all about fun. You know, and having a good time. Um... You know, and, uh, yeah. I mean, a good time for me, not for you. Uh, well, you know, I try to, you know, I try to do things that are interesting, you know, if I can. But, I, but to a point. So, I think what we're going to do maybe is take the brush and try and paint this over with the, uh, with the 66. And paint these. And then maybe, uh, we'll do the brass black thing on the ladders. You know, I'm, I'm sort of thinking as I, as I go along here. And then what we're going to have to do, very carefully now, oh, and, and this thing here, let's try not to drop it in the coffee today. And and that was not staged. That actually happened for real. This piece wasn't clamped down, and I, and I, I, I had it over here, I think it was, and when I went like this, it fell in. And like I said, Murphy's Law, uh, well, that's where it went. It really did, folks. That was not staged. Uh, in fact, almost all of my build is not staged, except for the opening scene. I will occasionally lay things out so that they look nice on the screen. But, uh, or if it's, well, I'll put something in that I want to talk about, I'll put it in the field of view. Anyway, let's, let's move on here and stop flapping my lips and, uh, yeah, let's, let's get, where, where's my paint anyway? We'll find it. Now, I've already got a bit of a mess right here, so... These are just ordinary tweezers, and they're now sort of like self-locking tweezers because they automatically want to spread apart, right? Noticing I got this, this crack going on here. I'm hoping that's not going to be too visible. I know I probably could uh, take and fill that in with something, but okay. Let's let's see now. How how is this going to? We're going to want to try and cover this up, right? Maybe this uh, tweezer idea is not going to work out too good. I'm going to have to sort of hold it with my, my finger here so it doesn't rock back and forth. Now, uh, I am sure that there are people watching right now that do not airbrush. They build models and they, they don't airbrush at all. They just, they just paint everything. And uh, 
I know that, that I will probably be losing a little bit of the detail. Trying to hold this so that the camera can see it too, and, and yet I can see it too. Let's see, maybe like this. Now, like right here around this door, for instance, we're going to rely on the fact that the paint is going to shrink wrap around that and that detail is going to come back. I will try to remove as much of the excess as possible. Now, I'm not trying to teach you how to paint. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and talking at the same time here. Maybe I could use a larger brush. We'll, we'll be able to tell after this dries if I'm going to need a second coat or not. I probably will. Because this uh, 56 that we're trying to cover up is, is fairly dark. Okay, got another little door going on there. Okay, now, now right up here, you remember there was that photo etch thing that we put on. My lighting isn't too good, is it? Sort of scrub it in all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to do the rest of this off camera. And then we'll we'll uh, put it on the rotator and take a look at it, because it's it's too hard to try and hold it so that the light is just right for me and for you as well. So we'll we'll take a look at this afterwards. Okay, let's let that dry. This is our first coat, and uh, yeah, is it as good as an airbrush? No, of course not. But I think it's going to be okay. You know, this is only the first coat. And I've got to let that paint uh, do its shrink wrap thing around the like around the windows and the detail and what have you. And if I can get away without having to put a second coat on, well, all the better. We'll lose a lot less detail. Now, I I didn't paint this one little piece right here because I I've got a sneaky feeling I've got a don't I have to put some photo etch gussets under there, or am I thinking of something else maybe? Anyway, I can do that hours later. Uh, it probably took me about an, not even an hour to to, uh, to do all this. Um, I don't know if you can see the light reflecting there in some places. You can see it's still wet. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode. Maybe a little bit of a disappointing episode to some people. But this is the way it's got to go. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.